Good morning everyone, Michael here. It is July 16th and today on this episode of Natural Law On The Go, we're gonna continue our conversation from yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about what is a right and a wrong action, the difference between them. To recap, a right action is any action you take which does not result in harm to other sentient beings. Again, a right action is any action you take which does not result in harm to other sentient beings. Conversely, a wrong action is something that does result in harm to a sentient being, something, uh, somebody other than yourself. You own yourself, you can do whatever you want to yourself. Your body is your own property, as is your mind, as is your consciousness. Others, though, are not. Never was, never will be. Okay? So, today we're going to continue this conversation about rights, since they're so often misunderstood. I mean, I didn't really understand them until about two years ago when Mark Passio explained it to me in very simple, clear to understand English. So that's what I'm trying to convey to you too as well. Um, Alright, so today we're going to talk about what are your rights? And we might get into, uh, do some people have more rights than others? But let's talk about what are your rights, because I wasn't satisfied with the treatment that I gave to that topic yesterday. Okay, your rights are any and all actions that do not result in harm to other sentient beings. The end. It's not what is listed in the Constitution. It's not what are in the Bill of Rights or the Declaration of Independence. No, those are enumerating a few of your rights, but to list all of your rights would take, I don't know, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. It'd be infinitely long because you can pretty much do anything you want without harming other people. And it might seem a little bit kooky when we get into it, but it's true. We've been sold a lie for a very long time and it's time to start speaking the truth and start believing in and acting on the truth, okay? So here's an example. Do you have the right, just when I bring these up, ask yourself, is there an actual real life victim? You can't say the community is a victim, society is harmed, because society and community aren't real people. It's an abstraction. If you can name a living, breathing, soulful human being that is harmed, then it's a wrong action. You do not have the right to take it. If there is not, then you do have the right to take it. You do have the right to take it. All right, stay calm, because this is probably the first time you're hearing this, and I'll be patient, okay? But when you start to understand it, you'll, you'll, you'll understand my frustration. Okay, so let's say, driving on a road in your car, uh, is that your right? Yes, it is. <laughs> Uh, driving in your car over somebody's tomato plants, over somebody else's tomato plants. No, it's not. It results in harm to that other person eh, because the tomato plants are his property. Driving over your own tomato plants. Yes, I guess you do have the right to do that. I feel bad for the tomato plants, though. What they do? <clears throat> uh, all right. I mean, I could go on forever. I don't really want to do all. Now let's do it because it's instructive. Okay. Do you have the right to take a cigarette and put it into your mouth and smoke it? Yes, you do. It doesn't hurt anybody else. Do you have the right to blow cigarette dirty smoke into somebody else's face? No, you do not. There's a victim there. There's somebody who is harmed by that action. Do you have the right to listen to music in your car? Yes, you do. Do you have the right to listen to music right outside somebody's house at full volume at 2.30 in the morning? I'd say no because I'd say there's a victim who is being harmed by that action, wouldn't you? All right, do you have the right to drive 95 miles an hour on, it gets tough with property rights on a private, we won't go into that, that's, that's too abstract. Um, let's see, do you have the right to take cocaine and put it up to your nose? Yes, you do, because it's your body, your consciousness, you can do whatever the heck you want with it. Do you have the right to, for somebody else to snort cocaine? No, you do not. You don't have the right to threaten them. You don't have the right. You don't have the right to trick them. Any of that type of stuff. All right. Let's see. What's another thing? But yeah, basically, you have the right to do whatever you want with your body, and you own the consequences of your action. If that makes you all crazy, and you commit a crime, an actual real crime with a victim, you're going to be punished for that, and you should be because you caused harm. Harming somebody else for doing a peaceful activity, such as any type of drug though, the person who is restricting them, 
the person who is stopping them from doing a peaceful activity and smoking marijuana, snorting cocaine, doing all those things that I won't do, I'm not gonna do that, but you have the right to because it's your body and your consciousness. If you use violence or the threat of violence to stop them, you are the bad person. You are the bad person for restricting their rights, restricting them exercising their God-given rights. They have the right to snort cocaine, okay? Locking them in a cage isn't gonna make it any better. Genius. Will it? How's that going? Really, how is that going? It's been like 50 years. It keeps on rising. Is society better today than it was 50 years ago? Answer that honestly. And then look in the mirror and see if your own actions have anything to do with that. But most people can't admit that they were wrong about anything. It's so easy to point the finger out, 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 out. Nobody, hardly anybody will point and say, I messed up, I messed up. You know who does do that though? Champions. If you watch some sort of sports game or something like that, when they ever come back, a champion will say, I should have played better. I should have done better. I made mistakes. Boom, 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 boom. You see the little small players go, well, the rest of it just wasn't fair. It was... Okay, getting back to it. If you restrict somebody from exercising any of their rights, you are the bad person. And the person who actually does threaten violence or use violence against a peaceful person performing a peaceful action, that person is the criminal. The one who actually performs violence against a peaceful person, the violent one is the criminal. So in a lot of cases, the police are the God-blessed criminals. God doesn't bless them, I just don't want to cuss. The police are the ones who are the criminals when they come into somebody's house, just following the law, following orders, sir, yes, sir! Kicking somebody's door, shoot their dog, over what? Oh, we got a call that they were smoking illegal drugs, that they were doing illegal drugs. You can't do that. You're the criminals. And the people who support them, you also are the criminals. Doesn't matter what man's law is. Man's law is arbitrary. It changes every day. A year ago, it was illegal to wear a mask in Hong Kong. Today, it is today it's illegal not to wear a mask in Hong Kong, I think. But you get the idea. Man's law is arbitrary, it changes. There is a God's law, there is God's law or a natural law, which we'll talk about in more detail later. The law of the universe that if you break it, there are consequences. We'll go into that later. But anyway, your rights are any and all actions you have which do not result in harm to other sentient beings. It doesn't matter if, it, if, if, if the probabilities of causing harm go up a little bit and it might lead to something, it hasn't yet. You have the right to take that action. You have, to, you have the right to take whatever action which does not result in harm to other sentient beings. Pretty simple, huh? I think so. So that's it. And conversely, if you stop somebody from exercising their free God-given rights, the millions and millions and billions and infinite things that they can do in this human existence, that you are the bad person, you are the criminal, so I hope, and I hope you are man and woman enough to admit it, to admit that you were wrong. Actually, shoot, I messed up. I was the one doing wrong. Not the person peacefully smoking marijuana. I was the one who messed up by saying that they should be put into a cage. Disgusting. Disgusting. Hope you can feel the disgust in my voice and feel the actual emotion and anger that I feel because most people just want to ignore this type of thing and that's why the world's getting worse and worse. For me, for my friends, for any children that I have, because most people refuse to look at what a right action is and a wrong action is. They'll go their whole God-given life and they'll say, oh, it's too complicated. Oh, I don't want to get into that type of stuff. I don't really deal with that. I'm not a black and white type of person. I'm all about gray. It's all about, it depends. It all depends. It's all relative. Einstein said E equals MC squared. So that means I'm never going to look into anything that could be right or wrong because that would might place constraints on my behavior. I just like to do whatever I want, but I don't care if I hurt other people in the process. Okay? That's most people. Very few people in my life, thank God, are like that anymore. And uh, so yeah, I guess this show is for people who are already pretty much awake. If you're already asleep, you're probably just like, that's stupid, I don't like it, that's bullshit. Your argument is bullshit. And 
have fun with that. Enjoy what happens to you. And yeah, so I guess we've gone on far enough for that. Rights are any and all action that you can take that don't result in harm to other beings. And you may not, under any circumstances, restrain or restrict or threaten violence against free people doing peaceful activities which are their God-given rights to do.